At number two, Pip to the post for the top spot, the Volvo Cross Country. When the first generation Cross Country was introduced in 1997, it looked very similar to the V70 on which it was based. Sure, it was a bit beefier, but really it was an adapted estate. And it still looks like a beefed up estate. So Glenda Mackay took it off-road to see if it really was a 4x4 underneath. I am driving a car that you'd normally take all the kids in through a really big pit of water. And it's fine. It's so fine. Normally when I'm on their roads like this, it's in the uh, co-driving seat of a rally car and it's going Rah! really, really loud and you can't hear yourself think. So, almost top marks off-road, but this has required some compromises on-road. The V70 is a solid drive on the road, as you would imagine from a car like this, but surprisingly, when you're going around the corners, it's ever so light. The steering is light and it tends to wallow a bit. In fact, it oversteers slightly when you're on a road like this. And when I first got in the car, it was ever so slightly unnerving. Yeah, it feels solid but it's all a bit wibbly-wobbly on the top. I was speaking to one of the guys from Volvo earlier on, and he said that they've had to kind of compromise on the stability of the car when it goes around the corners to get it right when it's off-road, and I agree with him there. As usual for Volvo, this car is brimming with safety equipment. An excellent, solid vehicle, supremely practical, but it's at a price.